yesterday. You don't, Ronald Reagan did not do this thing. Uh, no, but Ronald Reagan took advantage of it yesterday and called Michael well, Dukakis an invalid. For, he apologized for it, too. Oh. He certainly did. So you've called up to tell us some of the great things that George Bush has done in his career. Yes. Well, go ahead. All right. One thing, he has been very loyal to the presidency of the United States, which is more than you've done. You don't even... I'm not running for president, president now. enough to call him sir. You call him idiots and everything else. Well, when he does idiotic things, yes, I do. Uh, but I'm not running for president, ma'am. So know, what are some of the other great things that George Bush well, has done? Well, one thing about it, uh, he won the Congress... He, he ran for Congress in the state of Texas, and he won it, by God. When you yes, ma'am, he also Democrat ran for senator in the state of Texas and lost, by what? God. He also ran for senator in the state of Texas yeah, and lost, by God. Democrats. Pardon? You had your Ralph Yarbrough, your great big uh, liberal that no one wanted. Uh, ma'am, it was Lloyd Benson that beat him. I know who Lloyd Benson came and ran against George Bush. I am a native Texan. Uh -huh. I moved down here just three years ago from Houston. Great. So I know a lot about the state of Texas, more Great. than you would ever know. Then you should also know about how Houston is suffering because of the Reagan administration. It, Bush didn't do it and Reagan didn't do it. By God, it's the, well, who you, did liberals, it, you liberals, you liberals, and people like you that got this place in such a mess. Oh. And all deal, you are the one. Well, could you continue with his recitation of some of the great accomplishments of George Bush? Well, one thing about it, he put the oil place back. Well, George Bush put the... Oil what did and look... Uh, ma'am, what did George Bush... Ma'am, ma'am, what did George Bush do to put the oil prices back? He is not in a position to do it, but Well, then why did you say he did it? He would, I said. Well, why did you... Oh, he but would. He Man, well, could you tell us what, ma'am, could you tell us what he did do, not what he would do? People in the state of Texas. Ma'am, could you tell us what he did do, not what he would have done if I he could have? what he did when he was a businessman in the state of Texas. He gave a lot of people employment. He brought up money How many for people, people did he employ, ma'am? And I guess... Ma'am, how many people did he employ? Hundreds. How many hundreds? Look. You don't check all your numbers. I did not... I don't know. I haven't... Oh, you don't know yet. whether or not he employed anybody. Do what? You don't really know whether or not he employed anybody. I certainly do know. Oh. I certainly do know that, but I can tell you this, much. So, in other words, Lord, anybody Lord that employs Benson people has, who has done great Benson, things? Lord Benson was a good uh, businessman. He helped the state of Texas. But I guarantee you, George Bush didn't try to sell himself for $1,000 to have breakfast with him. Well, you know, I hear that I would pay it. But could you continue with this great recitation of the uh, marvelous accomplishments of George Bush's life? Well, Besides what he would have done if he could have, his, and the fact his, that he once employed someone. His father was a great pioneer. Well, well, ma'am, 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 George Bush is not responsible. Ma'am, George Bush is not responsible for what his father did or didn't do. Could you tell us some of the... Ma'am, could, ma could you tell us some of the great accomplishments that George Bush has accomplished in his life? could not rise to where he has without his accomplishments. Well, what are some of those accomplishments that has caused this great okay, rise? Being a good congressman. Being a good director congressman. Director of the CIA, yes. Well, what did he do as director of the CIA that you particularly liked? So that idiots like you and Ma'am, ma what, what did he do as head of the CIA that you particularly liked? He got it stronger than what it is right now. And what, he uh, got Jimmy it stronger Carter than did. what it is right now. No, Jimmy Carter. Well, Jimmy Carter's not running, ma'am. No, but he was. Uh, and he and did ma'am, 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 George Bush was CIA director prior to Jimmy Carter, not afterwards. So Jimmy could you Carter tell us what George Bush did? Jimmy Carter brought it down. <laughs> so why don't you ever mention John Ma'am, could you tell us exactly what it was that George Bush did as CIA director that you liked? Well, I liked it for him keeping confidential things and fighting for the United States. How do you, ma'am, how do you know that he fought for the United States if he kept it confidential? You also like Muscatel? Huh? Well, I thought so. Ann in Bradenton. Ann, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Hello, Bob. Hello, Ann. Uh, the best thing that George Bush done, uh, when he was director uh, for a year for a CIA, he didn't do a thing. So I think we should be grateful that he did. He was just there in the... Uh, Ann, Ann, have you been listening to the hour? Yes, I have. Well, then, you know, I'm really on a roll with some of these Bush supporters, so, you know, sorry. John in Tampa. John, you're on the air, I suppose, to tell us about the great accomplishments of George Bush. Hey, this uh, Lassiter? Yeah, it is. Hey, Lassiter, I've been hearing the steam all morning, but, you know, you're for uh, leaving out some mainstream voters. Mm, great. What are some of the George Bush's great accomplishments, John? Well, I want to tell you, 
Great. We're all yeah, breathlessly man, waiting for you to tell us some of George Bush's great George accomplishments. Maybe we'll like some fat paychecks and they'll make it. What are some of George way. Bush's great accomplishments, John? Bush. Do you remember D. Ray Lee's allies? And the team was all put out of business when the Carter and the Kim did it. Well, John can't tell us about the great accomplishments of George Bush, even though that was clearly the directive today. Rick in Tampa, perchance you can tell us about George Bush's great accomplishments. Yeah, I can. Uh, Bush didn't fall like a cheap camera the way Dukakis did uh, to Jesse Jackson. What are some of George Bush's great accomplishments? I'm telling you, he doesn't, he's not a wimp. The caucus is the wimp the way he fought. Uh, Rick, like what are camera. some of George Bush's great accomplishments? These people will be sorry when they hit Do you know any great action, accomplishments that George Bush has ever done, action, Rick? These people will be watering grass down here. So you don't know of any great They'll accomplishments that George Bush has? when they hit with the new affirmative action, Bob. Rick, you'll be lucky to have grass you'll if George Bush is the president. Al, in Clearwater, Al, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. How are you doing, Bob? Great. What are some of George it's, Bush's it's great, great accomplishments? It's a great show you have to begin with. Right now, I think it's a great show. What are some of George say, Bush's great accomplishments, Al? I'm telling you, the, the truth is I really can't tell you, okay? But okay, then we'll go to somebody who can. Angela in St. Petersburg. Angela, what are some of George Bush's great accomplishments? Well, uh, number one, uh, he was a war hero. He was shot down in World War II. When millions he upon millions of men were war heroes in the Second World War. Okay, he was uh, the director of the CIA. And what, what did he do as director of the CIA that you liked? What did he do? Well, I think... Um, yes, I that, that was a question. What did he do as director of the CIA that you liked? Well, at least he held it together. And in it other words, you don't know anything that he did as director of the CIA. You don't know whether he did things that you liked or you didn't like. All you know is that he was director of the CIA. Do you know, do you know under which president he served as director of the CIA? I think it was under Ford. You think it was under Ford? Well, it was before Carter, so it was under Ford that he did it. Well, there were other presidents before Carter, too. Well, at least he was vice president of the United States. That's good. And at least he... Um, That's good. Well, that is good. At least he fought... He well, Walter Mondale was vice president of the United States, so he also fought in the Second World War. Did you vote for him? If I did vote, I would have voted for Mondale. Uh-huh. But, I mean, there's some good points as a vice president, George Bush. So, in other words, you, thunk, you think that Mondale is better than Bush? No, not really. Well, I you would have had an opportunity to choose between Mondale and Bush when Mondale was running, and you would have chosen Mondale. I would have chosen Mondale, but Bush has good points, too. Well, what are some of George Bush's great accomplishments, some of those good points? Okay, I'll tell you, okay. As so you said, okay, point, well... As a good point he has, okay, even though Ronald Reagan had uh, some bad uh, policies, at least he stuck by him. He didn't go and deviate. So, in other words, you like George Bush because he sticks to a man who has bad policies. No, he sticks to um, the um, he sticks to the main guy. He's, he he sticks to the person he's working with. He's well, aside loyal. from supporting bad policies as a vice president, what else did George Bush do as vice president that you liked? Well, um, at least he did, he followed the president around. He didn't challenge. The president. Well, aside from following Ronald Reagan around, what else is it that George Bush did as vice president that you liked? Well, okay. When uh, Ronald Reagan stayed at home, he went abroad into Europe and um, did some of the. Uh, well, aside from traveling a lot, what else is it that George Bush did as vice president that you like that qualifies him to be president? Well, I think he, uh, I think he took over the Republican uh, convention pretty... Not the convention, but he... Uh, it hasn't been held yet. I know that, but I think he's the main guy in the Republican thing, and he's a strong... You think he's the main guy in the Republican thing? Yeah, I think so. I think he's going to uh -huh. be... He might be the next president. Okay. So, in other words, George Bush's greatest accomplishment is that he might be the next president. He might be the next president. And, and that's why we should vote for him, because he might be the next president. He, he might be the next, and the Republicans mm. are ruling everything. Are you old enough to vote yet? I will be in November. Oh, my God. Joe in Tampa. Joe, you're on the air at 970 WFLA. Um, what are some of George's great accomplishments? His great accomplishments? I don't think this is based on his great accomplishments. Yes, it is. I, I, I'm the one that sets the show, and that's what it's based on, George yeah, Bush's great accomplishments. Yeah, that's what it's based on, but... Uh, if you if you look in history, I, I read history no frequently. No what are some of George Bush's great accomplishments no to this got point in his year? And it, trying to become president. No I beg your pardon. There, there are many things that have many people have done great things in sixty years of life, whether or not they were running for examples. president. Give me examples. Give you an example. Yeah. Uh, Picasso painted great paintings, and he, he never ran no for president. president. He didn't become I president. I know. I said we there are many. I, sir, sir. I said there are many people who have done great things in their lives by the time they're sixty years old. No, whatever. 
whatever. What are some of George Bush's great accomplishments oh, that president. qualify him to be president? No one has great accomplishments. Well, I beg your pardon, sir. Many people have many great accomplishments. President. George Trump. Bush is not a president, sir. What so are some of George Bush's coming. great accomplishments okay, in 60 Reagan's years of life? John F. Kennedy's great accomplishments. None. In other words, you don't know of any George Bush accomplishments. Nah, George Bush ain't, ain't got none. Ah, uh, that's the exactly the point I'm trying to make. Ken, in Clearwater, Ken, uh, you're on the air. Uh, what are some of yeah. George's great accomplishments? How you doing, Bob? I got just two things. That what are I'm some sure. of George's great accomplishments? Let's get right down to business here. Okay, I got two things. I can't remember, and I wasn't there. It's not the least bit amusing, Ken. We're talking to people who are Bush supporters. If you can't follow the rules, then you just don't get a chance to play the game. You understand what I mean? Uh, let's go to John in St. Petersburg. Quickly, John, George Bush's great accomplishments. Hi, Mr. Lasseter. I got about three of them. Uh, the first one is I think he's unexcelled in handsomeness. Okay. People just don't follow the rules, so people who don't follow the rules don't get a chance to talk. Why do you guys do this to yourselves, huh? Waste your life in it. Uh, where and were I, you? sir, no. I, sir, was not the hypocrite who wanted you to waste your life in it. No, no, Dan. And on top of that, sir, I don't believe I have ever really taken a stand on Dan Quayle's military service or lack thereof. No, you because haven't. it is That's irrelevant, true. sir. So why in the name of God did you start the conversation by saying that I had, get off my phone, you jerk?